hit the thumbs up that's a like then hit subscribe and hit that bell and watch my whole hey, video hey boys and girls i got a great drawing for you today i'm going to show you how to draw the main character from the story snowy day and on the east coast here in baltimore we've had several snowy days so i hope that some of you got to go out and enjoy yourself in the snow. Like the little boy Peter in the story, he made snow angels, he threw snowballs, he even went up, up, up under a tree and hit it with a stick. Don't do that because you know what's gonna happen to the snow. Boom! He put some snow in his pocket hoping to take it home. We know what happened with that. He even slid down a, a snow mountain like it was a sliding board. He had a great time. But one of the best things he brought together his whole neighborhood and he had as a multicultural neighborhood together for a wonderful holiday feast. And this is a great story. So parents, please, if you can, take your kids to the library, go get this book. Um, also, there is a video on Amazon Prime of this story, Snowy Day, that it is a great family feature for you to sit down and watch. Anyway, I'm going to show the kids today how easy it is to draw the main character, Peter. So all you have to do is just watch. Ezra Jack Keats is the author of Snowy Day, this wonderful story about a little boy that we're going to use for today's drawing. Please get pencil, paper, crayon, whatever you need. First, I'm going to make a circle for his head. And then I'm going to draw a curving line starting off going around the circle, going to stop halfway. Then I'm going to start from the top and go the other way and meet that line at the bottom. Then I'm going to join both lines together at the top for his head. Now I'm going to make another curving line for his hairline. I'll make two upside down curving lines for his eyebrows and two little dots for his eyes. I'm going to make a open U for his nose and a nice big smiling face for Peter's face. And Peter is our main character. Now I'm going to make a upside down parcel U for Peter's shoulders. I'm going to make two lines, vertical lines, going straight down, then join them with a horizontal line. I'm going to make an upside down V in between for the space in between his legs and bring two lines down on both sides. I'm going to make two ovals for both of his feet. I'm going to start at his top of his shoulder and make a curving line on both sides. And then I'm going to make another one and these will be his arms. I'm going to join them. Now I'm going to make a nice curving line for the thumb of his mitten and then a larger curve for the rest of the mitten. We have completed Peter. Now I'm going to draw a horizon line going across and that will separate the ground from the background. I'm going to make circles around Peter's feet. This is going to be the area that he has stepped into the snow. We'll make that darker much later. Now I'm going to make the snowman that was one of the outdoor activities that Peter did in the snow. I'm going to make a circle and an oval. I'm going to draw the two sticks for his arms, a dot for both eyes, another little circle and a smiling face. Peter's snowman was rather simple. I'm making these curving lines for these rolling hills that Peter was sliding up and down 
And there were many hills in the story, so I'm going to make a lot of them. It seems like the story was filled with snowdrifts. They had much more snow than we've had lately. But I just, I like drawing these snowdrifts. In the background, I'm going to make some nice puffy clouds because it seemed like it was a beautiful clear day. And sometimes after a snow, it is such a beautiful day and the smell after a snow is so nice outside. I'm going to make a small sun just peering out from behind the clouds and some little light sun rays. Now I'm going to make snowflakes and I do this by making a plus sign and an X and then I might put little Y's on the end of each of the little flakes. I will make some flakes that are large, some flakes that are small, some flakes that are medium size. But the one thing that I like to do is to make sure that my flakes are all over the entire page. I don't like to see snowflakes that are clumped up in one area. I like to give them lots of space and have them different sizes all over the entire page. Well, I'm starting to color. I've increased my speed a little bit. I'm first gonna start coloring the background area, my sky, and at the bottom I like to make that just a little bit darker. I think it really accents the drawing to have the blue a little bit darker. Now, in this drawing, Peter is dressed all in red, so I'm gonna cover him from head to toe in red. One thing I want you to realize that when coloring in snow, lots of my kids say, well, should I color this snow, Mr. Smith? I tell them to use light blues or grays. In this, I'm using some very light blues and some purples for the ground. And then on some edges of the mountains, I'm putting some light purple, some light blues, but I'm still leaving some whites. And we are almost finished coloring Peter. And here's a little animated video. I hope you enjoy drawing Snowy Day. 